You've reached Empress of Oracle, where we tune into all things the divine. And we're so excited to have Jenna's Joyce journey here with us. And her channel has grown so much. And I guess we'll probably be talking from anything from aliens to angels to awakenings, I'm guessing. <laughs> so uh, Jenna, is there anything you wanted to say hello to anybody for? Well, hi, guys. My name is Jenna. I have a channel called Joyously Jenna, where we talk about weird stuff. That's it. Um, <laughs> I, I literally aliens bigfoot on the daily that's basically nice. all we talk about. um yeah i i've been on the ascension journey for about 10 years uh through an out-of-body experience a kundalini awakening that was pretty much forced on me through meditation um and i've just been basically going through the dark night of the soul for 10 years and have been vlogging about it as i go um in order to help other people who are ascending right now so Thank you for having me. I can definitely relate to that. I feel like I've been on a dark night of the soul for probably about 10 years ish as well. And I love how you get so real on your videos and you just like put it all out there and like people want to accept you. Great. If they don't great, but you know, you're just so real and you're not afraid to share things that a lot of people would, you know, be squeamish to share about themselves, but it needs to be shared. Well, thank you. Yeah. I will. That is very sweet of you to say, because I did not always used to be that way. I, I used to be so afraid that people would judge me for what I claim to talk about. Um, I claim to know aliens. Like, you know, you don't yeah. normally, somebody who's like, hey, by the way, like my best friend's big man. Yeah. <laughs> you don't talk to people on the daily that claim their best friends are dead people. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not yeah. normal. At least it wasn't for me. But I'm trying to really normalize that because so many people right now are waking up and we're like, what the freak is the matrix? What the freak are we doing here? We're obviously yeah. getting, we're awakening, but what does that mean? And mm. I think that a lot of people right now are trying to combat the 3D, but we're like, what are we replacing it with? There needs to be yeah. a level of, I think, normalcy around the spiritual journey. And that is something that you just, you just, I didn't used to find. I never found it. I really mm -hmm. want to have a place where people feel okay to be not okay kind of yeah. abnormal I want it to be normal to be abnormal you know yeah <clears throat> for people who have these spontaneous awakenings it could be through DMT mushrooms meditation people you know ayahuasca whatever these people are waking up I mean they're randomly pop 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 just everybody's <laughs> waking up right and where are they gonna go what are they gonna do we need light workers to really um usher in this new 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 age and i'm, I'm excited to be part of it i really am um, i think it's incredible i i really do i think the 10 years of suffering that i had in doing it all alone was so mm. worth it i i want to be the leader i never had i never had anyone telling me that i was okay by not being okay mm, yeah and and I just, you know, I want to be quirky and weird and whatever. Like, if people don't like that, okay. They secretly love it anyway. That's what I'm going to tell myself. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I tell exactly. myself they love it. I do. I, you know, there's no rejection anymore. It, it, it's no longer rejection when you know that you are loved by God. You are loved by yourself. You are loved. Mm -hmm. hey, there's no rejection. It's just, you know what? You're not on that path. It's okay. I love you anyway. Thank you for stopping by. Yeah. yeah when you accept yourself, people start to accept you. Because however you feel about yourself, you project that, like, I noticed, you know, people will kind of nitpick things that they don't like about people, but actually it's something they don't like about themselves. Because if it was, if they weren't nitpicking it, they wouldn't care. It wouldn't register. It's something that they don't like about themselves. Maybach.